our tale of the day for this featherweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Charles and Jordan. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Khan Swanson. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, Cub Swanson ready to go here round one. This guy is a master martial artist, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, as creative a striker as there is on the roster. Power in all limbs. We'll see how Swanson strategically chooses to attack tonight. Good straight hand there by Swanson. Fight behind a nice jab. by Swanson. There's that side kick. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Just misses there with the left. To the single collar time. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Straight right, he misses. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Swanson separates here. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh! Let's go! We can do this! Keep going forward! Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice combination, yes. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, big Well, now you see some... Watson looking for what would be a huge finish for him. Oh, oh he's in a world of trouble now. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Swanson gets touched by that kick there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He's got to change something. Oh, throwing everything with fight ending intentions. Right, we call on the fight stats here. These numbers unofficial, but they are strong. 51 total strikes and now landed for Killer Cup. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Lands with the ground and pow. Making all these shots count. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. 45 seconds remain in the round. 
There it is. Now he's going to mount. Setting up an arm bar now. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Finding his shot from the top position. Round two next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they could take a step back. This is the exact fight they expected. It's the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was Ready that fight? big strike to the head Ready. that landed that Good. put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Swanson. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper deck. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pitch. Right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Swanson. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Swanson gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is very tight. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it. He's got a real ball. He is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, and it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his... his, his Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he ducks. Oh, flat him on his back there. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another ground and pound strike lands. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. 
All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Right. Slips the left hand. Clinch position now. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Swanson. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out there. He's trying to keep it to poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body. Trying to kick the leg out. You've been here before. Nice jab. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the attack. 10 seconds to go in the round. on round two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Ready to fight. Ready. Third Ready. round underway. Right on the button. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Might be a submission attempt here, Chance. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He's hurt bad. Oh, just open it up on him now. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Oh, the hook lands. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. He's going guillotine. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye. Not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered. He's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you understood that if he didn't change something, it would get much worse. He didn't change anything, and now we're here. And he is back up to his feet. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. 
Nice kick. Swanson. He's hurt bad. Oh, it's big. Lock him, sock him. Down the stretch they go. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot kick any of those kicks. Swanson's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. Immediately gets the underhook. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. A oh, little single power tie there. Down is good. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Oh, right, it's a mount. Under a minute to go here in our third and final round. Great job landing from the top position. Lands another strike upstairs and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss J.A. And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. 20 seconds to go. Give me elbow. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got him hurting here. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this earlier. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. All right, the official the decision is in. It resides the with the venerable decision. Bruce Buffett. All three judges scored this contest 30 27. For the winner by unanimous decision, Charles A. Jordan. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly, pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all.